What an amazing dance tribute by Dara Smith. Hello everyone, my name is Shaquille Stringer. I'm a 2019 Hammond High graduate and I was the first African-American male valedictorian. Hello, my name is Tyrell Smith. I am a class of 2020 Hammond High School graduate and as well as valedictorian. We are so honored to be your presider for today's virtual Black History Month celebration. First, we will have the national anthem sang by Tanisha Greenwell. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Tanisha, for that amazing solo. Now we will have the Black National Anthem sung by Sean Garrison. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmony of liberty let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies let it resound loud as the roar Ling sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the Present has brought us facing the rising sun of our, of our new day. Be Let us march on till victory is won. And now for our invocation. Introducing Deacon Buddy Finney of Mount Zion Baptist Church. Lord, our Heavenly Father, Father, I'll stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. For if thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, whither shall I go? God, help us to value diversity beyond varieties, a vision for a progressive future that acknowledge our strength together, as well as the power of creativity, ideas, and part that we bring when we all are welcome to come to the table and taste and see that the Lord is good. We thank you, Mayor McDermott, Jr., and the committee 
recognized in this month as Black History Month. Lord, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want a flame to burn in everyone's heart that all lives matter, not just black lives. For Jesus said, love ye one another, even as I love you. And for the eternal flame that, that burns at the park east of here, I'm so grateful that we all see Jesus. We're going to see, he's not going to see colors. He's going to see his children that needed a savior. That he shed his own precious blood that we all be free. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And this is my prayer. Amen, amen, amen. For our greetings, we have Thomas McDermott Jr., the mayor of City of Hammond. Morning, everybody. Hammond Mayor Thomas McDermott Jr. here, welcoming you to Hammond's annual Black History Program celebration. Obviously, we're doing it virtually this year because of the ravages of the pandemic we've been dealing with. And I'm very much looking forward to next year's celebration when we could get together again for the MLK celebration in, in Hammond Civic Center that we missed this year and for this celebration in City Hall like we usually have it. Before we get started, I want to thank Tanisha Greenwell for an amazing rendition of the National Anthem. Thank you very much, Tanisha. Also, what an amazing rendition of the Black National Anthem. Thank you very much also for that great rendition. I also want to recognize the committee that put this program together. A lot of hard work went into this uh, program, so if you don't mind, while I recognize the committee members. First off, Awana Miller, uh, head of Hammonds Community Affairs. Thank you very much, Awana. Nancy Cobb on the program committee as well. Thank you very much, Nancy. Angela Crowder. Thank you very much, Angela. Albertine Dent. Thank you very much, Ms. Dent. Ann Herbert. Thank you for your hard work, Ann. Shannon Morris-Smith, thank you very much, Shannon. Ron Mullins, President of the Hammond Human Relations Commission, thank you very much, Ron. Shirley Shepard, thank you for your hard work, Shirley. Last and certainly not least, Paul Walker, uh, thank you very much, Paul, for your leadership. I also want to recognize and congratulate today's honorees of the Leaders in Education Award to the principals and assistant principals across the school city Hammond on their recognition today. Congratulations to you as well. And before I conclude and pass on to our next speaker, I want to remind everybody, according to our last census, Hammond's African-American population was close to 25% of our total population. Our Hispanic population was 30%-ish and about a 45% Caucasian population. So obviously in the city of Hammond, diversity is key to who we are. It's part of our DNA as Hammondites. And today's celebration is no different. Celebrating one in every four of our residents is the right way to do it. And we do this kind of stuff on a year-round basis, as all of you know. We annually walk on MLK's birthday from MLK Park to the Hammond Civic Center, the newly renovated MLK Park. Um, obviously, we celebrate Black History Month in the city of Hammond. Um, Cinco de Mayo is another huge celebration we have in Hammond. Latin night at the Festival of the Lakes, always a great time. We include our disability community with our Disability Commission. We also recognize Disability Awareness Month. Heck, I even celebrate St. Patrick's Day, even though there's not a lot of Irish guys in Hammond. Um, and one of my favorite also is the National Day of Prayer, where even though it's talking about religion, it's bringing in people from all across our community and celebrating our diversity and even religious aspects. So I really want to congratulate and thank all the hardworking members of Hammond's African-American community, the leaders in politics, the leaders in our ministry, the leaders that help me do my job the right way. So Congratulations, thank you for what you do. And like I said, hopefully next year we'll get back to normal, get into the Civic Center for MLK Day, and we'll get back here for Black History Month and City Hall uh, like we usually do. So anyway, thank you, take care, and enjoy the program. For our next guest, we have the third district councilman, Barry Tyler Jr. of the Hammond Common Council. Hello, uh, greetings from Hammond's third district. It is my distinct pleasure to be here today and share a few words with you about the significance of black history, the need for us to continue to educate ourselves around that history and the importance of celebrating those that make history, not just in a national scale, but here locally as well. Black history is American history, plain and simple. Unfortunately though, there are some individuals that will want you to believe otherwise. They will want you to believe that black history in this country began with slavery and ended with the Emancipation Proclamation. That is simply not true. 
Despite racism and systematic oppression, blacks in this country have provided significant contributions to every field of life, from medicine to academia to sports and entertainment to government to industry, our impact can be felt far and wide. This is something we need to remember not just during the month of February, but throughout the entire year. As I always say, I am proud to live in a city as diverse as Hammond is, and a city that routinely celebrates that diversity. And this year is no different. Thank you to Mayor McDermott and Mr. Wanda Miller and everyone else that had a hand in planning the celebration as we lift up our local black leaders in education. Leaders that many of us, including myself, have had the privilege of learning from or working beside. I would be remiss, though, if I didn't call out some of the other individuals that have helped pave the way in, ed in education. For example, Dr. Miller as the first black principal in the city of Hammond, Dr. Watkins, the first black superintendent, Albertine Dent, the first black school board trustee, and of course, Ms. Hicks, the first black school teacher within our city. It's important to call out the accomplishments of these individuals as we are not that far, from, far removed from the struggles they had to experience to become the first in their fields. We as a people are not that far removed from the days of segregation. Not only that, but racism still exists in our country and first uh, like these are still being accomplished. Just look to our most recent police chief for another example. Now, I'm not calling this out to dim the light of this country of ours because I love it with all of my heart and that's the main reason my, I am standing in front of you today. I'm rather sharing this message to shine a light on our local heroes and let them know that we see you and we appreciate you. Yes, this country, this state, this city of ours still has a lot of work to do, but we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the contributions of all of you. Because of you, Hammond is a place I love and proud to be a resident of and a place I am choosing to raise my two black sons in. Thank you once again for everyone that had a hand in this program. And please continue to research and learn about the many contributions of black, history, black leaders in this country, not just the ones we usually read about, but those unsung heroes who are just as important. Thank you and may God bless us all. Our next guest is Barbara Reedus, the Executive Director of the Hammond Human Relations Commission. Good morning. On behalf of the Hammond Human Relations Commission, thank you for being a part of our Black History Celebration. No matter who you are, you are a part of us. We are strong and resilient because of our diversity throughout the city of Hammond, where you can go and live where you choose. Because in Hammond, we all have the same fair housing rights, and Hammond Human Relations Commission is here to see just that. So join us in April to celebrate our Fair Housing Month. Again, thank you for sharing in our diversity. Be safe, be well, and enjoy the virtual celebration. Lastly, we have Mr. Scott Miller, the superintendent of the School City of Hammond. Greetings. On behalf of School City of Hammond and our Board of Trustees, I join with the City of Hammond in honoring and thanking our African-American administrators for their service to the children and community in Hammond. With nearly 35% of our 12,000 students being African American, it is important for children to see both building level and district level leadership that looks like them and that understands firsthand the challenges minorities face in American culture. In addition to the nine building level leaders the city has acknowledged, I would also like to publicly thank the following African American district level leaders at School City of Hammond. Dr. Michelle Rushing, our College and Careers Coordinator. Larry Hare, our Building and Grounds Manager. Sarah Ligon, Director of Health Services. Linda Fullalove, Director of Student Services. Roderick Potts, our Director of Transportation. Cynthia Warner-Lowe, our Director of Adult Education. Alicia Pritchett, our Executive Director of Business Services. Dr. Leslie Yanders, our Executive Director of Secondary Education. And Dr. Dawn Green, our Associate Superintendent. I'm personally blessed to know each of you, and I'm grateful to have you as part of our team. Only through our shared knowledge and experiences will, be, will we be able to meet the needs of our community and make School City of Hammond the transformative learning experience we all desire it to be. Thank you, and have a blessed Black History Month. Now we will have a musical selection given by my aunt, Shanice Smith. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? 
Why should my heart be lonely and long for my heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eye is on. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because. And I know he watches, I know he watches, I know he watches me. And now a brief presentation from the Eggers Middle School E-Girls. Hello, my name is Eva. I'm in the sixth grade at Eggers Middle School, and I'm an Eggers E-Girl. Next, E-Girls will share a moment in black history of a few African Americans who forever changed academia. Black History Month is celebrated to recognize and honor African Americans who made great contributions to society. Major figures like Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks are often honored, but there are times when some of the most important men and women who have made impacts on society by serving through the channels of academia, the one noticed. Hi, my name is Angelie Reese. Today, we will honor those people who have made contributions in academia. We will also celebrate Black History Month by honoring some of those men and women, along with our African American School City of Hammond principals and assistant principals that are still with us today. Hello, I'm Liz Best. Did you know that in 1970, the first African-American principal at the school city of Hammond was Milford Miller? Mr. Milford Miller, we honor you. Hello, I'm Mariah Peterson. Franny Jackson Copeland, the country's first female African-American principal. Franny Jackson Copeland served for 37 years and implemented many improvements in Education in Philadelphia and elsewhere. Franny Jackson Copeland will honor you. Hello, my name is Elena. Joe Lewis Clark changed the way that many people think about disciplining in schools. The former Joe Sergeant's tough style was captured and nas captured national attention when it was chronic in the movie Lean on Me. So Joe Lewis Clark, we honor you. Next on the program, we would like to introduce our 2021 honorees. Our first honoree is Dr. Johnny Goodlow Jr., principal at Hammond High School. He has a bachelor's degree in biology from Jackson State University, master's degree in secondary education from Indiana University Northwest, and a doctorate degree in secondary education from Chicago State University. Dr. Goodlow believes in the power of positive relationships being the catalyst of every school community. Our next honoree is Damika Harrison. She is the assistant principal at Clark Middle slash High School. She has a bachelor's degree in education from Indiana University. She has a master's degree in education from Indiana University Northwest, and as well as a master's degree in educational leadership from Indiana University Northwest. Ms. Harrison sees opportunity in every circumstance. 
Her modeling of pursuing lifelong learning is intended to be an example to students and teachers that we never stop learning. Learning is a part of life. Yolanda Weems Bracey. She is the principal at Lincoln Elementary School. She has a master's degree in elementary education from Indiana University Northwest. She has a master's degree in administration from Purdue University Northwest. She also has a superintendent's license, EDS, from Indiana State University. Principal Bracey and Lincoln Elementary were recognized by the state of Indiana for a best practice, Cool's Moms Count and Cool Dads Read, which allows parents to come to school and read and or participate in math activities once a month. Our next honoree is Marilyn Hampton, assistant principal at Maywood Elementary School. Bachelor's degree from Purdue University Calumet. Master's degree in elementary education from Indiana Wesleyan University. Ms. Hampton's greatest joy has been building positive relationships with Hammond families and fellow educators. Her greatest achievement has been the opportunity to serve. Our next honoree is Dr. Mia Jones. She is an assistant principal at Eggers Middle School. She has a bachelor's degree in early childhood education from Indiana University. She has a master's degree in curriculum and instruction from Indiana Wesleyan University. She has a master's degree in advanced leadership studies from Indiana Wesleyan University, as well as a doctor of education degree in organizational leadership. She also has an administrative license in MBA in educational leadership from the University of Indianapolis. She's also a Woodrow Wilson Fellow. Tierra Redman. She is the assistant principal at Maywood Elementary School. She has her bachelor's degree in elementary and special education from Purdue University. She also has her master's degree in educational leadership and policy studies from Indiana University. Ms. Redman strives to support students in building their self-advocacy skills and reaching their full potential. Our next honoree is Dr. Maylene Morris. She is the assistant principal at Hammond High School. She has a bachelor's degree from Indiana University Northwest. She also has a master's degree from Indiana Wesleyan University. Ms. Morris works to empower all stakeholders. She is an advocate for student choice and a student voice which fosters student engagement and collaboration. Letera R. Smith, principal at Maywood Elementary School, bachelor's degree in elementary education from Purdue University. She also has a master's degree in education administration from Purdue University. She was also 2017 educator of the year. The highlight of Mrs. Smith's day is spending time with students doing e-learning. Students can join her for Grub Club, a virtual lunch with activities. Our last honoree is Angela Coretta Johnson. She is the principal at Eggers Middle School, a Horace Mann High School graduate, the first president of the Students Exploring Teaching Program. She has a bachelor's degree in journalism from Florida A&M, a master's degree in secondary education from Indiana University Northwest, Dr. Johnson says, educating students is my passion and my purpose each day. I am grateful to touch the life of those entrusted to my care. And now we will have our Black History Month proclamation from Mayor Thomas McDermott, Jr. Proclamation from the City of Hammond's Mayor Thomas M. McDermott, Jr. Whereas the City of Hammond recognizes February as Black History Month, a time for all of us to honor and celebrate the many contributions and social strides African Americans have made in our city and abroad. And whereas in 1926, historian and author Carter G. Woodson, who is known as the father of black history study, introduced Negro History Week as a reaction to racism and to highlight the role African-Americans played in the development of civilization. And whereas Dr. Woodson introduced Negro History Week in February to have it as close as possible to the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, since that time, Negro History Week has been expanded to encompass the entire month of February and has also undergone a change in terminology. And whereas Dr. Woodson and other black historians and social scientists systematically proved that African-Americans played an integral part in the development of civilization. And whereas the city of Hammond joins in this celebration, African-Americans have served our city in many capacities and are well represented. They have also enriched the city of Hammond with excellent leadership, intellectual growth, 
artistic achievements, and cultural pride. And whereas African Americans have moved forward in science, sports, education, entertainment, business, and politics with their innovation and hard work, Hammond is also a beneficiary as African Americans continue to play a vital role in our community. Whereas the city of Hammond acknowledges the many contributions that African Americans continue to make in our society and reaffirms its commitment to equal opportunity and our commitment to diversity. Whereas today we celebrate the current African American principals and assistant principals in the school city of Hammond. Yolanda Bracey, Principal, Lincoln Elementary School. Angela Johnson, Principal, and Dr. Mia Jones, Assistant Principal, Eggers Middle School. Dr. Johnny Goodlow, Principal, and Marlene Morris, Assistant Principal, Hammond High School. Tamika Harrison, Assistant Principal, Clark Middle High School. Letera Smith, Principal, Tierra Redman, Assistant Principal, and Marilyn Hampton, Maywood Elementary School. Now, therefore, I, Thomas M. McDermott, Jr., Mayor of the City of Hammond, Indiana, hereby proclaim February 2021 as Black History Month in the City of Hammond. And I encourage all citizens in the City of Hammond to join in learning and celebrating the contribution, contributions that African Americans have made to the world, to the country, and to our city right here in Hammond, Indiana. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and seal of the great city of Hammond, Indiana on this first day of February, 2021. Congratulations and thank you.